What is going on, Low Gang? We're back here at never again. Oh, I'm sorry, God. I'm gonna start by three point oh. apology. We're back here at Goodwill. Uh, it's uh, triple digit heat already in Arizona. Yeah, it's so really hot out. It begins. Uh, do me a favor, really quick, because YouTube has gone full retard the last few weeks. I guess that's nothing new, but it's gone more than usual. Hit the little bell icon at the oh, bottom yeah. uh, next to our channel because we're losing. Everyone's losing thousands of subscribers, and people are losing viewers. Hit that little bell icon right now, and that way you guys will be sure to see our videos in your sub feed. Uh, because YouTube cannot manage a website that's getting a billion hits a week somehow. Yep, Google. Yep, awesome. Uh, not enough money in it for them. So let's hit Goodwill, uh, see if we can game hunt. This one behind us, renovated. Is have you been really? in here? I yeah, it's like completely different. Oh. So we'll go check it out. Um, it actually has been pretty good at having some games. We'll see cool. what we have. I need a red pill on like factory sealed items that they have here. Yeah, I don't get that. Oh. It's like a decent Bluetooth yeah, speaker. It's not too, I am actually Game Boy Advance games. So are these just like overhead from like a, like a Walmart or something? I don't know. Or it's cheap crap they buy at China and then bring it here. I guess Bluetooth headphones for 25 at retail. It's probably not going to be great. No. Every time we come in, it's just becoming a retail store. It's just like Dollar General. <laughs> the worst best picture film. What is it that? Ever. It's probably unanimously considered the worst movie to win Best Picture of all time. And then you look at a list of movies that didn't. Oh my god, this isn't even the right crash. Never mind. What? It was a James this Spader. Is, <laughs> this is like a, a cheap softcore porn version of Crash. Never mind. <laughs> so solid, solid amount of games. Yeah. At least for a Goodwill. Like a Max Payne. That's kind of cool. And they're all like, compared to the other thrift stores around town, these are all like pretty pristine and nice condition. It's like, or not. It's like shiny and fresh. These might have come straight from a story or a store. This. They're all Lord of the Rings movies. Probably just like donated from second hand. Oh, it's Blockbuster. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> I guess the last blockbuster just closed its doors, even though it had been effectively dead for like a decade. I think there's still one in Alaska. Okay. I read some news article about one closing its doors after all these years. Because in Alaska, they don't really have streaming because the data caps are ridiculously small. Right. Oh, yeah, the internet. More Lord of the Rings. These are on Blu-ray. That's kind of sick, actually. You know, Lord of the Rings on Blu-ray. I have the extended cuts. I know. I wish it was the longer one. There's a lot of great stuff they cut out. Call me four. Look, it's something that belongs in the dumpster. <laughs> what went wrong? Seriously, this, this game was the biggest disappointment ever. I mean, they talked about having your own ship, going to different worlds, doing all that stuff. Now, you could technically do that, but the ship was a loading screen. <laughs> I remember, it was idle. Yeah, and the open worlds and the giant planets were like levels. Yep. And that's it. And uh, the second one... Fun fact, is such a failure that it's in this month's Humble Bundle. Great. Wasn't it supposed to be like a decade-long experience or something? Yeah. And the they, sequel came out said, three days later? Yeah, this is like a, some 10-year project or something like that. <laughs> but supposedly that includes sequels. Well, good good that. for Bungie for at least taking a risk and not just copy and pasting Halo 5. I, uh, I'm proud of them for taking a risk. I mean, it, 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 they fell flat, but it's it took really a risk. Is it really a risk, though, to make a grindy first-person shooter? It's, an MMO, it's an MMO first-person shooter. It's kind of a It's, it's kind of an novel. MMO where you can't talk to anybody. Yeah, yeah it was shit. I'm not, I'm not going to argue it wasn't. <laughs> what the fuck? Was this donated from a red box and they printed out the sleeve? What? Is it a disc in there? This one doesn't. This one does, though. Just a great picture of Richard Gear. Probably mid gerbil. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Eddie Murphy. Uh, what? Why? What is this? What? So what? What's inside? The discs. The there DVD. are discs. Yeah. Oh, okay. So well, all except for this one. This these one. are probably like pirated from like Mexico. They could be. Because I know they sell can't. like pirated stuff like this in Mexico. Oh, wait, I got an idea. Let's see if it's pirated. That would be so funny. It's oh my pirated. god, dude. Jesus Christ. I wonder what Goodwill's charging oh for pirated god. Richard Gear movies. Are you excited for the all female cast Ocean's Eleven? Oh, Just what we needed. No, not. Hopefully, they'll be as successful as the Ghostbusters. Yeah. Jesus I, H. Christ. Why do they do that? They don't have to don't shoehorn know. it for in. A novelty. Ocean's Eight is what it's called. 
Yeah, it looks awful. I mean, the original Ocean Seven had females, didn't it? Didn't it? It had Julia Roberts. Maybe yeah, not. Maybe not part of the team. Ocean's Twelve. She was kind of part of the team. Well, I think Ocean's Twelve. She was, and then Ocean's, Ocean's Thirteen. 12, part she, of the they team. just like wrote her out of the script for no reason because they couldn't afford Julia Roberts again. Yep. What's funny though is in Ocean's Twelve. Julia, Julia Roberts has to pretend she's Julia Roberts. I remember that. Like, she had, like fake museum. being pregnant. It was kind of a fun yeah. ending. Yeah, it was funny. It's a terrible movie. But it was the awful. It was, was great. For for a terrible movie, it wasn't bad. No, it was a fun ending. One of the only people that unironically still enjoys these like Roland Emmerich schlockfest. Oh. But this was. I don't know why this movie's like so fun. It's so bad, but it's like so fun to watch at the same time. Fair it's enough. So silly. And it has. I forgot it had. Uh, what is that actor's name? I know who you're talking about. What's oh, his wait. name? I can't think of it. Oh, Woody Harrelson. yeah, Woody, Woody Harrelson, Harrelson had like a schlocky, like conspiracy theorist, like tinfoil hat wear was just a great character in the movie. <laughs> I think I know the comment already. Tony, I don't feel so well. Oh, that wasn't the comment I was thinking of. <laughs> I don't want to know what it was. What was it? Next shit. Now shot in a, a video with Elsa. Oh God! Quickly become the. Uh, the image of the villain of all of Hollywood, like <laughs> rapidly, just completely taken over. I saw an image with uh, Mickey Mouse wearing an Infinity Gauntlet, and it's like one of them was 20th Century Fox, one of them was Marvel, one of them was Star Wars. Soon, literally every movie is going to be a Disney movie. In 10 years, every movie in the theaters is going to be a Disney it's movie. It's true. It's and true. And people with, uh, with talent and, and quality are just going to be relegated to Redbox and Netflix. All right. <sighs> I think your brain's been trained to just like ignore Xbox 360s now. Yeah, I didn't even see that for like a good solid minute. And again, just like retail items from China and VTech. Great. Great. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. I love it. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. So, oh, it's got Sean Bean in it. Yeah, and he doesn't die. He well, doesn't it's left, die. left interpretation at the end. Yeah, that was a weird ending. I didn't get it. He might have died in the sequel. I, don't, I never saw it because it looked like complete sequel. schlock. But this one was like the right type of schlock. It was pretty good. It was super fun. Yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, and then like the ending was ridiculous with all the barbed wire. Oh, it jumps the shark completely, like the CG barbed wire and stuff. But the first like seventy five percent was great. Oh, I, I laughed. And I thought hard. I thought it was super faithful to the game, especially the kid. The cameras would like pan over oh, the actors yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff as they ran. It was like this is exactly like the game. It was cool. So well done. This movie was complete schlock, but it does show the Eastern Front in World War Two, which we never get in any movies. We always just get like heroic Western Front, but we never get the Eastern Front like Germany, Eastern. right? Eastern Front, Germany and Russia. Yeah, that's Eastern. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's my, my Yeah, I was, I was like, what? But Jude Law with his, like, English accent trying to be Russian was horrible. <laughs> and Ed Harris speaking perfect English as a, like, SS soldier. This is, the, this is like, this is pure World War II magic, though. Stalingrad and stuff, like, the Eastern Front was great. At least from an entertainment perspective. Yeah, I was going to say. Not, not, uh, not in there. real life. Oh, it was great. You know, millions of millions of millions of people died. Yeah, we ate our boots. Speaking of Ed Harris... This is objectively the greatest action movie of the 1990s. That was pretty good. It's com like complete camp and schlock. Oh yeah, it's definitely. so fun. Oh my god. That's great though. Alcatraz Island, VX poison gas rockets, <laughs> Sean Connery, <laughs> Nicolas Cage. It was great. What could go wrong? It's a better time. What's up? I found $50,000. Oh, does it have the black diamond? I don't know. Epic. All those stupid news articles my like parents keep sending me. Oh, like is Buzz, stuff? BuzzFeed, like top eight DVDs that might be worth a lot of money that you don't know about. It's worth a lot of money. This one doesn't have the penis tower in it. <laughs> <laughs> Special edition. Oh, wait. I gotta find the penis tower. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> What's going on? You're a little crazy. Here's Retro Box. So take note, CJR. These are cool. It's forty dollars retail. F FIFA on the Switch. Holy shit! For fifty-four dollars, isn't it's it? It's like 40? the lesser version too. Yeah. Isn't it forty at retail, or am I wrong? Uh, it was sixty when it first came out. Oh, okay. It's good, uh, Bookman's really. Well, uh, did you ever play that, Lego Racers? No, Epic Fake Factory still though. Yeah, that game was fun. Pretty sick. 
rock and roll racing for 45 bucks. That's pretty dope. On Sega Genesis. That's sick. Yeah, it's sick. Like it's got tank tracks, but it's flying. Dude, I, I it's too bad that Infinity War is gonna cross two billion dollars in five seconds and no one watched Ready Player One because that movie was I never saw amazing. That. Oh, I loved it so much. Shenmue, they're coming out with one and two. Are you gonna get those? On Switch? On PS4 and Xbox One? No, I will not. If they come out on the Switch. Switch is where I play like single player games I never got around to. Is Conker's at a hundred right now? A hundred dollars? You serious? It might be at that like retail. That'd be way more than it was last time I had one. I still have mine. This is one of the few games I regret, regret uh, selling out of my last collection. Okay. And I had a little like music CD too. Oh yeah. Just because I don't know, I played it like it was one of the games I didn't buy when it came out new, so I was playing it like second hand. It was Main Condition, and it had that cool music CD, so I was super butt hurt later that I sold it. I'll be looking to get one, but not for thirty five dollars. I heard that was like the most disappointing of the. I, li I liked Zelda it a lot. Games. I yeah. liked it a lot from what I was playing. I don't know how playable it's going to be now after like. Breath of the Wild, which is oh, such an yeah. amazing game. Okay, you guys know Majora's Mask. You guys know what I'm talking about. This game was actually pretty awesome. I liked it a lot. Oh, okay. Well, they have the disc up front. Do they? Is that John Marston from like the new one, or is that a different like? This is a different one. His name is Red. Upset Man. That's why it's Red Dead Revolver because his name is Red. So, so is Red anything Dead shared Redemption? in the universe? I guess is my question. No. Okay, so it might as well not even be named um, the same thing. Yeah, I don't know why they call it Red Dead Redemption when it's not Red. Okay. It's John Marston. And then the new one is somebody completely different, too. Uh, what do you... Expectations on the new one? I think it'll be great, but I'm worried about the multiplayer bit, because Grand Theft Auto decided to microtransaction the hell out of it. Of course. And make it a grind fest. So I, I don't know how they would do that for a cowboy game, but I'm just sure like find skins, a way. like Golden Revolver. See, you could Mexican get all that. Mexican Poncho. You could get all that in Red Dead Redemption, but you did it through like multiplayer or challenges, you know, stuff like in a video game. Right. So hopefully it's a video game. It's it, it won't be. Hopefully it'll be like Fortnite so. where it's just like cosmetic only and I'll still spend a thousand dollars on it. I don't even want that. Okay. No microtransactions. Fuck off. Who cares $60. about who cares about cosmetics though? It doesn't help you. This was a real good uh Book. De it's depression a, the book it is really sad it's by the same guy actually that did uh no country for old men oh really but my biggest pet peeve with him is that he leaves like open-ended open-ended ending audience can write their own ending which i hate like if i'm if i'm gonna go buy like a painting i want the artist to like finish the painting i don't want to take it home and like finish it myself i want, I want a complete product it's just like i hate like open-ending books and movies and shit I, I don't think no country for old men had an open ending did it had the most open ending of any movie ever. The ending was the bad guy won. The villain gets in a car wreck and walks off. We don't know what happened. We don't know if the girl's alive. We don't know anything. Well, we just saw that Josh Brolin unceremoniously got killed. <laughs> Epic discounts. Epic deals. Epic deals on nothing. It's still no deals. <laughs> Sound like Shark Tank entrepreneur. But Newspapers from the famous date of September 11, 2002. <laughs> <laughs> a newspaper. Great. I missed it by one year. Yeah. Want to buy a burner phone? Yeah, so you can Open get with our plug. <laughs> I know, it feels like a greenhouse in here. It's like Florida. <laughs> in a store. <laughs> like I said, it smells like grandma's house, too. It has that weird, like, that like moth. Florida. has that, like, mothy, like, closet smell kind of hair. It's disgusting. Like I said, a lot of this stuff's probably from estate sales or have been around dead people. Oh, gross. I'm wondering if the Salvation Army have a Shop Goodwill esque website. I don't think so. Because we're like, who bought? Who came in and bought like Cabela's Big Game Hunter? <laughs> Every game's gone. Did they move yeah, the gaming section? This is no weird. No other section could be in. Huh. That is like straight out of a Nickelodeon commercial break from like 1997. Like those old gross out days? Yep, like slime. Cockroaches. I remember a thing like this where you, you were like a professor in like a creepy laboratory and you made it like yeah. like gummies and you ate like the gummies. Yeah. Or something like that. Hi, I'm Dr. Dreadful and this is the Dr. Dreadful Food Lab. Makes lots of gross things and then you eat them. Dr. Dreadful's monster skin. <laughs> Care for a tasty tarantula, fly, cockroach? You can make swarms! And now magic powder, stir, and... Monster brains! Mmm, fruity! But 
Dr. Dreadful Food Lab makes gross things again and again. It's totally dreadful! <laughs> Better than gross magic. What's even going on with this box art? Oh, there's like a toilet. He's you know, like pouring fishing. like liquid into someone's eye. Someone's playing cards. <laughs> Someone has cockroach, cockroach eggs. So what's this person doing? He's toilet? fishing shit out of a toilet. What? I still remember when Shock Talk came out in like 2010. It was the greatest thing ever for like an idiot 21 year old, which was myself. I think it's good. Came out to compete with like Blue Moon as the like I think it's a lot better than affordable. Affordable? It's the same price. What are you talking about? No, that's what I'm saying. They're affordable. Like they're not an expensive beer. Like they're oh, a cheap, okay. a cheap like Belgium white. It's yeah. good. Oh, yeah, it's great. All right, what is going on? Uh, let's play us out. A couple shameless uh, self promotion plugs. Obviously, the thrift stores during the summer kind of suffer the same fate of garage selling. They kind of dwindle out because no one wants to go outside to do anything. Um, it's kind of our down season, obviously, here in Tucson. So inventory was kind of bad. Um, we're going to try to go out to the garage shells possibly next Saturday. Uh, me and Fanta both have work off the night before and the morning of, so it'll be a good chance for us to go out together. Don't hold me accountable to that statement I just made, though. Me and Fanta have a tendency of not going out to the garage shells, even though we've had, at least I've had, some awesome success the one time I went out earlier this year. Uh, the first month of me Twitch streaming has gone pretty much exactly as expected. Getting shot, I need help. Bye, Barn. Why is my girl crawling? Why is she, why is she, why is she doing this? Why is she doing this? Why is she doing this? No! Why is she doing this? I've been Twitch streaming a lot, kind of um, at a bad schedule because I get off work pretty late. So I've been streaming like 1 a.m. Definitely gonna be making a second YouTube channel. Uh, link will be down in the description. I know Fortnite obviously has been the most cancerous experience on YouTube, probably since the original Minecraft days. Um, so I'm gonna try to not clutter up this channel with gameplay and nonsense. I'm gonna be making a new channel, Twitch highlights. Um, I might do some rage videos on, on content. I might do some uh, spineless cash grab videos like Review Tech USA where I just talk about news articles and stuff. Haven't decided, but I don't want to clog up this channel. I want to keep this channel focused on game hunting for now. Um, in fact, go ahead and head over and subscribe. I'll, I'll put the link there. Uh, I've had these sitting in the kitchen for the last like three years, so I'll just be go giving these away to random subscribers. Uh, this first week, Zelda and Mario Galaxy been sitting in my kitchen for like nine months, so... Just subscribe, that's all you have to do to enter. Uh, I'll pick two random subscribers and give them away those games, or maybe I'll give one subscriber both items. Haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna try to get more of a focused Twitch schedule going because Twitch is amazing, and honestly, a lot of people are talking about how it might be the future. Um, YouTube, YouTube's losing big YouTube personalities now. Obviously, we were losing small ones a few months ago, but now big ones are starting to jump ship. People are uh, turning to Patreon for static income that actually makes sense as opposed to ad revenue, which goes from $1,000 a video to $10 for no reason. Obviously, people can't bank a career off um, the chaos and the instability we're getting on YouTube. So Twitch has been fun. Fanta's having success on Twitch. Fanta's having success on his own YouTube channel that he's been doing, talking about customer service experience. Um, I'm going to do this other channel. For now, it's just going to be Twitch highlights, which is going to pretty much equate to me breaking controllers. I'm okay at video games, but I also, I'm not good enough to warrant having a Twitch based off that. The reason I did one is because everyone I've ever talked to that knows me personally said you should do one. Uh, you break controllers like every night, you scream, and you're animated, you should do a Twitch. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, and as I said, videos will be up for viewing later on this YouTube channel since a lot of people are going to be able to watch at 1.30 a.m. when I'm streaming. So go check out my Twitch. Go check out my other YouTube channel I just made. Uh, as I said, me and Fanta will get together this summer, try to figure out what we're going to do with this channel to keep content coming out. Obviously, the channel kind of blows up in the fall. We do a lot of like discount videos on Black Friday. We do a lot of day one buys. So content will be coming in October, November, but this summer is going to be tough to keep videos coming out, especially with the thrift store inventory um, being as awful as it's been. So hopefully uh, yard selling this weekend, and then like I said, this fall we'll get a lot more videos going. 
but we'll do an update video this summer try to figure out how we can keep this channel going uh, views are amazing on this channel. We put up videos and we always get 10,000 views, which is good for 20,000 subscribers we have. The issue is that moving forward, we're just getting, we're getting no new people in. So every single month has been exactly the same as the previous month. And that's our fault. YouTube has these annoying algorithms, obviously, where you want to get 10 minute videos, clickbait thumbnail, red arrow in every single thumbnail. Um, and then you need to get videos up. I think the algorithm is every 72 hours. Yeah, basically every three days, you need to be getting a video up and it needs to be 10 minutes. Uh, and then you get their like stream, their hot stream of content. And that's why we see a lot of clickbait kind of garbage. I never wanted to do that with this channel. I wanted to put videos up once every two weeks or so uh, to get an actual quality video up instead of just like, let, what can we throw up today? Um, unfortunately, to succeed in YouTube, you're going to have to learn how to do that stuff. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do it with the game hunting channel. We might have to branch off and do some other stuff. But that will be a discussion with Fanta for another day. Obviously, he's doing great with his channel. And um, I'm having fun just kind of gaming right now. Uh, game hunting game hunting's obviously been dead for years, but during the summer, it's especially kind of irrelevant. So maybe we'll go out and do another yard sale video this weekend. And even if we don't find anything, we'll just talk about the experience and how things have changed since like 2012 when we first started going out. So anyway, as always, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the content and hit that bell icon. Um, people, people have been losing thousands of subs the last couple weeks and subs are missing their channels in the sub box all of a sudden because the stupid YouTube is not figured out. This complaint everyone's had for years um, about sub boxes, YouTube has not addressed it. They said the content creators were wrong. Um, but recently they've determined that actually they've been wrong uh, and not the millions of people telling them that they're wrong So I'm out guys later. Thank you guys for watching as always. Take care